I mean, he's cool. You know, just that name I mean, sounds to a lot of people all around the world. I mean, I got a lot of people from France who hit me after the news broke. So, like basketball player, non-basketball player, people don't really follow basketball. That means who he was as a player, as a man. I mean, till today, like I woke up this morning, I look at my phone, so maybe I said it was a bad dream and everything is false and it was a fake news. And no, no, after like I said, see, this is morning I realized and he's gone. No COVID no more. So that's a tragic day with all those people. I mean, he's in the helicopter passed away. I'm very sad for them and his family. When I heard the news about his daughter as well. On Sunday morning, the NBA lost one of its greatest icons when the helicopter carrying Kobe Bryant and eight others, including Bryant's oldest daughter, Gianna, crashed in a remote area of Calabasas, California. Charlotte Hornets players and coaches gave emotional testimony about Bryant and what he meant as a player, dad, and inspiration to everyone he met. I think the thing that hurts me the most, obviously, is just seeing the father that he was. Um, you know, someone that has two young girls and you know, knowing that um, they're not going to get an opportunity to kind of, or he's not going to get an opportunity to kind of see them grow up. I think that's what that's what hurts me the most. After that, I just put my phone away. I turned off the TV, and, and me and my wife, and uh, we took the kids. So let's have the best family day ever. You know, when you heard news like that, you just try, try to stick together, and you try to. And we went outside. You play basketball, and my son, and and that's it. I think it's. Uh, affected anybody and everybody you know, I mean, whether you're a basketball player or not I think mean, you know a tragic accident like this is something that uh, resonates with a lot of people and especially the NBA family and you know we talked to our players before the game a little or before practice today a little bit and let them kind of express themselves and it's a it's a it's a tough day to deal with a very tough situation and uh, our guys fought through it today obviously it's tough um, it's tough you know I feel like my whole life personally when things have been difficult for me, the one place that I always wanted to be was here. You know, basketball kind of takes your mind away from, from everything, the good, the bad, whatever. Uh, when you leave this gym, you're going to have to go back out there, and the reality of it is uh, we lost someone, many, lost many people yesterday that were really great, near and dear to a lot of people's hearts. And, uh, it's, it's, it's definitely still difficult to process. I think everybody's in shock still. I think everybody really uh, is trying to process their own feelings uh, on it. Um, and we shared some stories. Uh, uh, you know, I was part of the select team when he was on the Olympic team and um, just sharing stories with him about what his daily routine was like, you know, Pilates in the morning, then lifting weights, and then team breakfast, team practice, and then he was the only guy out of the national team that went back to shoot at night until some of the other players found out that he was going back to shoot at night. And I think that raised the level of everybody's, you know, Everybody saw what the best player in the game was doing at the time, and they took their game to another level because of him. And I think that's just one small story about uh, you know how hard he worked and that mentality that he had. And uh, uh, I think we all learned from him. My first NBA NBA game ever was against Kobe. The first time I met, like I get in the basketball court, I had to guard Kobe Bryant. That's my first memory. He's that guy. Couldn't nice so because of a 19 year old kid. He couldn't nice so me. So uh, you know, he just means so much for that game. We just talked about basketball because just so much for that game for the last 20, 25 years. Even today, even if he's still retired, he retired two years ago. What is what he's been doing for the woman? Because he was more focused with women basketball because of his daughter and stuff like that. He has an impact he had and he's gonna have for, for a while, I mean forever. And he's gonna be missed for sure. I actually met him twice. Uh, the first time was that picture um, at Nike Skills Skills Academy, um, and it's crazy. You had so many stars, like you had LeBron, you had Anthony Davis, DeMar DeRozan, uh, all those guys. But once Kobe walked in the gym, it's just like everybody just stopped and was watching. Him. Everybody froze, like, "Oh, that's Kobe." Um, and when he talking, and when he was talking, everybody listened. So uh, it, it was great meeting him. I got a lot of advice from him in that camp. He gave everybody great advice. Um, the second time I met him, um, I was working out with with Kyle Kuzma. Um, in a Lakers facility, and um, he was just walking past, and I was like, yo, Kobe, how you doing? Um, he was like, I'm good, man. He said, how you doing? Getting ready for the draft. Um, I 
I said, yeah, I'm just working hard. And he was like, that's what I like to hear. And he walked away. So it, it was just great for me to be able to meet him. Um, and it's a tough loss for, for the NBA in the world. Uh, I remember the first time I ever had a one-on-one -on -one interaction with him. I was in Atlanta. We had played the Lakers the night before. And we come in, and there was a guy that walked in. You know, I'd never seen him before. He kind of looked around the weight room, and he asked. Uh, he said, hey, Kobe wants to come in and lift. And it was early. It was really, really early. Uh, and he comes in. and says what's up to everybody, starts his routine, and so maybe two hours later, and he was still going. That was the first one, and then uh, over the years, he and I have competed against each other, and I just remember going back and forth with him, you know, having an opportunity to guard him and to watch him. You know, he was he was a hero to all of us, especially my generation. You know, people talk about how great Michael Jordan was. I feel like Kobe is the closest thing to Michael Jordan they will ever see. So again, man, to me, it's not about the basketball player that he was. I mean, everybody knows he's one of the best to ever do it, but it's just, it hurts me the most because of the following.